This is an age of darkness. Good evening, morning, hello, and welcome to our next episode of the Total War Challenge, starting on Medieval Total War. Uh, for this, we have our expanded map, expanded roster, and a whole bunch of very different factions. Alright, so we'll make a start, single player, new campaign on Expert, playing on the early period. Alright, for our faction, we will be playing as the Spanish. Now, it does say difficulty rating hard. Uh, depending on how you play it, yes. Uh, we likely will be going into the Islamic territories, and it, it does get a little bit tricky when you do that, just simply because you have to wait around to sort religion out. But overall, it's a pretty nice start, pretty easy. Uh, you don't have to worry about much apart from the French. The French will likely be our main enemies in our mid-game. Anywho, let's make a start. And here we are with our humble beginnings. Uh, very humble indeed, not much in the way of troops. Let's just grab them all out and we can have a quick look through. See if we have anyone... Good dread or good acumen. I think uh, these archers will have to do. They'll do. Which one's which? Duke of Castile and our Lord Chamberlain. Pop them in. And over here. No one. Oh, that's useful. Oh, well, we'll wait in Leon because we want to give our uh, Duke of Leon over. Just to try and help with loyalty, though our main provinces aren't going to be too much trouble with loyalty, at least not at the beginning. What will be important, though, uh, we want Leon first. No, definitely Castile will build it. Uh, it's just to start getting keeps so we can get our better soldiers. Uh, Spanish soldiers are pretty darn good. And you're in a good position to really uh, spam them quite quickly. Uh, we, yeah, we'll use Jeanette's because they're not terrible early game, but we definitely want to get rid of them. Okay, we will marry them. Why not? Doesn't really matter too much. Go have a quick chat the Aragonese, because we do want to be uh, aligned. I'm just trying to think then. Yeah, pretty pretty much everyone who's Catholic. I think for now we'll be aligned with France. We'll see. AI may pull something sketchy. Uh, we've got recruitment, we've got building, we only have two provinces. Let's quick check of our economy. We are going to need to grab somewhere quickly. Because both Castile and Lyon are going to be our production centers. A quick check. Yes, Lyon is good for knights. Huh, Inquisitors. Ah, well, we're still going to make it a production center anyway. They're two pretty good positions to have for it. Anyway, moving on then. Uh, 
Aragonese done. Move over to Ile de France. There we are, Jeanette. So these guys better? Nope. Okay, you can go in the armies. Let's grab the majority and we'll take on the can never pronounce this right. N Never, Navar, Navare. That place, whatever. And they're all good. Yeah, I keep forgetting. It takes like eight turns or something for this one. Yeah. Oh well, onwards and upwards. Hmm. I thank you, Pope. Little Popey helping us out. Ooh, level two Jeanette. Yeah, go on. Throw them over there. And a bit of dread. Good. Alright, he can be the Duke of Lyon and keep everyone happy there. If memory serves, they just have spearmen and peasants. Try to remember now. It's been a while. <laughs> I can remember Portugal's the, the, the hardest one. They actually have half decent troops. Easiest is actually Valencia and then Navarre. As to exact troop numbers, really, we should have built our watchtower. But I can kind of remember, so I'm going to see if uh, my memory holds. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Uh, we actually really want archers here rather than spearmen right now. And once they're done, we can go in and do good things. I uh, will build the watchtower here, though, because that loyalty is lowering. And watchtowers uh, give, give a nice little bonus to your loyalty. Yep, one turn to build. Nothing much needed. Ooh, what to build, what to build now. Um, trying to think. Probably just go for them, followed by our royal palace. Yeah, and then we'll move on to building our keep in Lyon, because we're building our keep here first. Oh, we have an heir. All right, let's pop them on the side. They can be a reinforcement and level up rather than a main army stay. Well, they like giving us level two things, don't they? Oh well. I think one more unit of archers and we'll pop them into Navarre. We can have a, a look over here now. Yeah, that'll be why feudal knights. That'll be why Portugal's a bit trickier. Spearmen as well. Archers. Not bad early game units. Alright, army ready on to Navarre, declaring war on the rebels. Everyone's still happy. They can come in, because we'll be taking on Valencia after, so they'll be in a position ready to reinforce. Uh, yeah, we'll take some urban militia. Early game, they're not too bad. Definitely not great either, though. Ooh, our income's reduced. Less than 400. Let's take Navarre quickly and have that as our... Save that. Oh, maybe not. 700 to 300. Auto. Ah, uh, kill the ringleaders. Why not? Alright, so Navarre is going to be our money production center. Economic constructions there. Uh, ports aren't that useful this game. At least not till mid game, anyway. <clears throat> nah, let's just build a fort. That'll do them over there. 48. 
Ooh, they're not happy with that at all, are they? Let's chuck some peasants your way. Ooh, let me move you. There we go. 84. Urban militia? Right, there is a slight problem in this game. It doesn't let you pick stuff up very well. There might just be, I don't know, maybe the resolution I'm on or something? I have to go right down into the corner just to grab them. Alright, there we are. 104. 0% chance of rebellion. And we can build this army up a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Valencia. Valencia is... Jeanette's, I think they have. I'm trying to remember that. It's been a while since I played, but it hasn't been too long, so I'm hoping I can remember this correctly. Ooh, one quick check. All tips. Tidy up units. Yes. So rather than messing around as before, moving all our troops together, this should automatically. Uh, just group together soldiers to keep as high a strength as we can. And I think that might have to do for this turn. Uh, 500 odd is our new income. Hmm. Cheers, Poppy. Excellent. <laughs> Alliance and an extra grand. Don't mind if we do. Uh, where is our emissary? Move on to Burgundy. You guys can go together now, and we can up this to normal. Excellent. It's quite a tasty looking little army, so let's pop them into Valencia. They're recruiting spearmen, urban militia. Yeah. Just got to try and get Portugal before the Alma had to do. Although we are going to war with them anyway, so it's not the end of the world. How many turns have we got left on that? Two more turns. Oh, we can get spearmen here as well. Good. Excellent early game units of the spearmen. And that's still building up. We're getting some monies from there, so let's end. Seven hundred versus hundred and eighty. Oh, I can't see what they have. I was hoping to find out. Auto resolve, victoire. Uh, kill them all. I honestly don't remember what killing them or leaving them does, but yeah, might as well. A harsh way to do it, but yeah, might as well. Yeah. Uh, grab our watchtowers. Keep up our happiness. Because uh, it's going to go down. Swap them around. 60. Whoa, low. People are unpleased. Uh, do I want peasants? No, let's go for urban militia and peasants. Go on, why not? They may not be good in a fight, but they are quite good at keeping the peace. Ooh, very low and they're still unhappy. Oh, come on. Let me click you. There we go. 94. Any of these guys got a bit of dread? He's got a bit of dread. There we go. 111. Our dreaded Duke just helping us out a little bit there. Oh, by Job. Very low. They are not happy in the bear. Let's stick... Um, oh, we can't, can we? We can't reach there. 8% chance of rebellion. I don't like those odds. Um, let's pop them in there just for now. Separate them out a bit. Oh, could even leave 
Then like that? No, not quite. See, everyone's recruiting. How many more turns? One more turn! Marvelous. Sancho, eh? Valencia, Navale, the Deus Vault. Ah, there is a... Is it actually a crusade? No, they just want us to take Jerusalem. I... No. <laughs> just levels of no. That's the reason I actually get annoyed with uh, Medieval 2 is the and take Jerusalem bit. Nope. Don't like it. Ah oh, well. Let's keep these building up, keeping everyone happy. Normal. Ooh, we can get to very high. Marvelous. And I'm just gonna leave these armies behind. Ooh, six star general. And he's an heir. Let's pop them over to Navarre. Ray, Ra, Navarre, Navarre. Whatever. Uh, who's the Duke of there? That's the one we want. Peasantry, come forth. Just drop that down to keep them happy. Ooh, that's not the one we want. We want this. So that we can make men at arms. Good times. Yeah, we'll build our... Uh, what is it? Watchtower? Yes, watchtower first. Just uh, shouldn't have much troubles in Castile anyway, but it is just worth doing it for the off chance we do have problems. What's this like for archers? They got three archers. That's more than enough. Might need some more in general though. Uh, do we want peasants now? We don't want peasants. We've kind of sorted things out. Ooh, what we do want is some bishops. And the reason is the Almohads are all Islamic, and we're going to need to reduce that as much as we can. I think we've just got heresy. Oh. A little bit of uh, the Jewish faith in there as well. But predominantly, we are all Catholic. Quick check on expenses. Ooh, 887. Improving. Yeah, it's in there. Damn you, Aragonese. France is on crusade. That's their little event there. Temporary alliance with you. Most temporary indeed. Can we get one more? Excellent. Full stack. Smack them into Portugal. Uh, you pop in there. We don't want you anymore. Aha! <laughs> Let's just go and annoy the Almohads before we wage war on them. Yeah. These up. Earning as much as we can. Uh, excellent. They're now building. How many turns is that? Four turns. Do it to there. Then we'll have our feudal men at arms building. And after our feudal men at arms, yes, then we get our feudal sergeants. And with them, we will be able to take on the Almohads. Uh, depending on what they've built up. Yeah, Berber camels are a bit annoying. Uh, they have some actually pretty good units. Urban militia are quite good. Yeah, the, the early game units for the Almohads aren't that bad, so it's good just to have some nice armies and to smash them before they get the really good units later on. Quick save. And... We should be able to auto. Yeah, 144. Oh, excellent. They've accepted. Choose your allies. Uh, oh, no. We'll stick with the Aragonese. 
Alright, so this one does favour quite heavily. Just build them first. Uh, the auto resolve over manual battles. Which, yeah. Maybe a little tedious, but saves troops. Might as well do it. Everything building, yeah. Pop them over. Link them up. Everything's very high, everything's building, everything's recruiting. That's all we want. Two bishops in there. Can we get the other two? I think just use the other two. Well, I actually think of going for our own lands, but actually, probably better off going for the Almohads, and then when we can build a church, that should sort everything out. All right, onwards. Three more turns, and we'll start recruiting our men at arms. We got the Germans on our side. Strongest military power thus far. Let's move this guy up, chat with the Danes and uh, Novgorod, or the Russian soldiers. See if we can't get in a better position. Uh, what can we do? One dread, two dread. Wow. Okay, we're going with the, the archers. They're not built yet. Let's just get all the bishops chill in here in Cordoba. Ooh, they're ready for improvements. We can keep first, then our horse breeder. Making sure everyone's happy, all is good. Yep, all green. few heirs actually. One available and a bunch more coming of age soon. How marvellous. Yeah, we'll fill them up. Another archer. Two archers. Oh, we have an extra one. Um, I tend to buy another bishop to be honest. Yeah, might as well. There are they're going to get used, because as we go through here, we end up having to like leave one behind each time. <laughs> Plus, we can send them into Egypt when we get there. Yes, Byzantium, we are good. The Pope, yes. Love the Pope. No, we don't, but we have to, so we will. <laughs> Uh, they're chilling there, waiting for our building. There we are. That's the one. We're going there. Okay, so these are going to be really just for finances. Possibly Valencia for a little few troops, a little bit of production. Could build inns there. No, and Navarre, I, what are they good for? Nothing and nothing. Portugal's for boats, isn't it? Yeah, caravels. So we will need a port there eventually. Actually, might add that to the list first. It takes quite a while to build keeps and such. Let's build an inn in Valencia. That way we can get mercenaries if we need them. Over here, town watch. That'll help with our public order. Well, they have too many troubles with public order. Hmm, all looks pretty good. Let's chuck another bishop over here. Just all the bishops. 30%, brilliant. Getting ready for when we invade. Who's that? Ah, there. Yes, they're the Duke of Portugal. 
good old Portugal. They can only get peasants. They can only get peasants. Yep. What's our money situation? 1.1. Excellent. All right, it's in there. Got some more traits building, probably bad ones. Where are they? There's the emissary. Move on to Denmark. Try and meet the Danes and then meet the Russians. It's looking like a pretty nice army. Good enough to take on these guys, possibly. Depends what's in Granada and Morocco. They are both connected. Have to keep remembering that because I always forget. Ooh, no, no incest. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. Uh, marry them. Cool. Let's stick you in Cordoba as well. 34% slowly improving. There we are. Men at arms. Give us lots of men at arms. Uh, what's it worth you building? Probably just... Few units of spearmen, few units of uh, archers. Do we want more urban militia? Uh, possibly. They are quite good anti armor. You can just throw them on the flank, but that's about it, really. Alright, let's just end there and keep our Florins building. All going down, apparently. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine if it goes down. We're spending money to make money. Oh, no, they're too big. Anyway. <laughs> uh, let's grab all our troops, keep them piling in, building up. Keep them away from those archers. Uh, yes, we want you... Why? Ah, that's why you wouldn't let me drop you. Where, where were they? Weird. Anyway, up at Navarre. Yes. Maybe? Debates? It's the English. We're fine with the English. They're cool. They're also going to be at war with France and therefore have, you know, no reason to attack us. So, let's do our economic buildings and then work on building our troops there. First unit of man at arms coming in. Plenty more coming where they came from. Ooh, a quick check for very highs, all in the 200s, 100 odds. Yep, yeah, that'll do. How are they doing? 37% slowly regaining, well, Regaining, slowly gaining religious control. Who is that? Ah, Gulen bodyguards. Fair enough, fair enough. I think next turn we will attack Cordoba. About right as I said that, they then move all their troops in. And we've got famine as well. Less piety. Darn it. It's actually something we need right now. Okay, so... That was two armies. They moved their king out. Hmm. I'm trying to think. That's, it's about, about two stacks they have. So we might need to just wait a little while longer. It's mostly just waiting for these men-at-arms. As soon as we have few of them, just enough, then we should be okay. I was going to say, if we had urban militia, I might send them in as well. We haven't built that yet. In Valencia? Uh, no point getting in Navarre, sending them down. Our income is dwindling again, though. Hmm. We can wait a little longer, let Cordoba become more Catholic, and then hit them.
think next turn we'll have, what is that, three units of men at arms? Yeah, that should be enough. All right, let's go. Okay, trying to get a sneaky view. Ooh, ten happens. Ooh, loyalty and happiness, marvellous. Uh, just trying to get a sneaky view at their troops then. They do have a lot, but they also seem to be rubbish, so go on. War. Why not? Let's just send everything we have in and also not forget to lower this. Ooh, 75. Might have to chuck them in there. Not good enough. Kind of want them, really. Very low. Okay. It's cool. They're still, they're still good. It's fine because it's the men at arms we really want to be sending in. Uh, it's just making sure everyone's happy. Happy, happy, happy. Everybody's happy. A little classic quote there for any and all. Ooh. Our income has gone up. Marvellous. Alright, let's see. Can can we move like with the archers out there or something? No, there are our feudal lord. Let's grab them. Just. Okay, one extra unit. Always helpful. Okay, let's end there. Ha-ha! They ran away. Marvellous. Treaty cancelled. Yes, the army had it. Forced them away. Choose your allies. Germany or France? Yes, we will remain allied to the Germans. Keep him away from bribery. Memo to self. Uh, we have no siege equipment. Um, dang it. <laughs> and Oh yeah, they do have quite a lot of troops. But they are kind of rubbish. Ooh, trying to stick these guys together. There we are. We can start adding some more troops in. We'll need to build siege equipment at some point if it's built. Yes! Dang it! I was hoping we have some siege equipment for our uh, mercenaries there. Everyone is still happy, very happy. Everyone is still building as well. And right, we might have to starve them out, unfortunately. Right, I'm just going to save here and move on to our next turn, just in case it crashes. Uh, medieval actually crashes more than Shogun for me. So uh, just quickly save and we'll carry on. Okay, saved and ready to go. Let's have a quick check. 48% slowly building our religious presence there. They're building their ports, why not? Slowly coming through. Yeah, everything's kind of building up. Uh, ooh, quick check. I think I checked that last time. Yes, just before I left. Have to hope. Bit of a gamble that we get some siege equipment coming in through those mercenaries. But if not, we have plenty enough troops just to lay siege and slowly dwindle their supplies. Yeah, only one year left. Alright, let's end there then. Code of knighthood, we say. The events continue. Let's move Ooh. to Sweden. Usually, I would have met the Danish king already. We'll see. Hopefully, they're there. Still got units building. We can chuck in. Lovely men at arms coming in there. I 
53%. Great, A. Eh? Yes, with Valencia, we are just focusing on our economy there, so we don't need to worry about anything. That's all coming along. Uh, should we get some more troops? Yes, we should. Yes, because we have feudal sergeants now. Nothing special there, though. Let's just grab some more archers. Don't need too many. Got to keep our profits up. Uh, ooh, they've moved? Yes. Okay. That I'll have to do for now. Slowly taking Cordoba. Excellent, Cordoba has fallen. All completed, keeps completed. Ah, great. Turkey's religious development has begun. Ah oh, well, can't really can't really be controlled that one. Might just ooh, I can pick them up. There we go bulk out our king's army, get them maxed out, ready to go. Uh, have some spearmen? No, I can't fit them in. Okay, then our heir can take... Is that our heir? That's one of them. Prince Alfonso can have all the extras they require. Let's see who is pious and dreaded. This lovely unit of urban militia. Yes, Duke of Cordoba, indeed. Let's move a few of these out, keep the others in, because we are still only 57%. <laughs> Portugal's still not happy. Oh well. Because we have so many troops here, we'll just up Cordoba very high. What can we build? What can we build? The Royal Court survived. Oh, excellent, actually. Uh, let's build these two. We can see what's in Granada and Morocco, and also our town watch, just to help out with our men. And some Royal Knights. So these are the bodyguard units for your generals. And there's only 20, I believe, uh, regardless of sizes as well. Like, doesn't matter if you change to huge, I think you still only get 20. Uh, considering we're on normal, uh, 20 is more than enough. If you're on higher, higher unit levels, then yeah, they're not really all that useful. But they are good for us and what we need them for. Just making sure everywhere is building that should be. I don't think there's anything great to recruit from anywhere. Yeah, that'll do for now. Ooh, Cordoba got reduced. What? <laughs> That's annoying. Ah, oh, well. We can upgrade it ourselves. Possibly? What does Cordoba get? Nothing. Historically nothing. Urban militia. And Berber camels. Hmm. Fair enough. Camels being quite good against cavalry, actually. But, anyway, we digress. Excellent. Over 1,000. That'll do. Just making sure. Grab our forgotten about emissary. We do like you, we swear. And let's hop along. Hmm. Some intriguing developments. Three archers, that's kind of all you need. 
just needs sergeant and oh, I forget what the hell they're called now. Sergeants and men at arms. That's the one I'm looking for. Uh, Queenie, marry someone. I don't know. Whatever. It kind of suck anyway. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, there we go. Some royal knights. We now have some cavalry. We can actually use quite effectively as well. That ups their armor. We're going to need some catapults eventually. I think you get balusters first. Hmm. Might be worth just building the trading post before we level up. Just to get... Just to start building the trade network. Takes quite a while and doesn't pay that much in this game if memory serves. Or I might just be thinking of ports there. Either way, it's all long term. Over here in the there. Let's stick with improving our farmland. Oh, arid ground. <laughs> no waterways. Okay. Uh, perhaps not. Uh, let's just build up ports and an inn. Just in case we need the extra troops. Never know who will attack us there. Get ready to build our forces for when we eventually move into Europe. Is anyone else we can get to build some half decent troops? Not really. Alright, that'll have to do. Quick check. End on. <laughs> Managed to escape death at the hands of an assassin. seem right. He's an emissary. Why would you try and kill an emissary? Don't shoot the messenger after all. Oh well, we'll keep them moving on. Try and find Novgorod. Let's combine them up. Can we get high? Yes, we get up to high. Very high, very high. And everywhere is still green. Queenie. Go, go marry them. Why not? Oh, whatever. They're already on a mission. You can tailor uh, your princes and your generals to get really good stats if you actually control who they're marrying and stuff. But I always feel like the gain isn't really worth it. A, a lot of hassle for minimum reward. Alright, income. Ooh, not great. Uh, we have got to deal with Morocco and Granada, unfortunately. We will need defensive forces. Might need to do a quick bit of a shift towards. Uh, economic development for a little while. Uh, I don't think we're going to get much, yeah, in the way of money from these areas. Uh, Navarre might be getting improved irrigation and such, crop rotation and whatever the uh, other ones are called. Alright, let's see, we're still at 800 odds, so that'll do for now. Ending. Moving on. Ooh, get them in the right place. Room for one more? Nah, no room for one more. Okay, that's two full stacks. With uh, actually some pretty good units in them. That's a good thing. These guys tend to come 
with a bit of a uh, bit of command ability. One hundred and seven. There. Ooh, not recruiting anyone. Let's get some archers, some spears. How many archers? Three archers. Yeah, that's more than enough. Bunch of men at arms for them. Might even send some men at arms that way. Uh, let's just purely get them building economic buildings. A hundy still. It's one of those weird ones because we're going to be losing cash for a while, but we do need it to take on the Alamads. We just get our better troops in. Oh, there's the king. Alliance. Right, onward to next turn. I'm tempted to say we'll we'll just hit into Granada and just kind of see what the Almohads do. Uh, actually, I might as well do that now with the king's army. Yeah, let's just see what they do. Uh, check out their troops because they aren't the best troops. They have a lot of cavalry. They're not bad cavalry. We shall see. Nine hundred to four hundred. Uh, quick save there. Is this worth a fight? Likely not. Oh, we lost 300 odd. Okay, it might have been worth a fight. But Granada is now ours. Oh, we received a bit of ransom. The Italians have been excommunicated. Gutted. Ah, oh, that was a, a nice little development at least. Taking Granada. And yes, they have a mine. Excellent. Let's bump this up very high. And we just pretty much purely might build the trade place first. Purely going for our economic buildings still. Trying to increase our income, get it back over a thousand. not what we want. We want to be constructing, not recruiting. Uh, who can we put in charge? What are you like? Not great. What about you? Pious and dreadful. There's 14 of you, so you're kind of useless. Go over there. There we are. It's now the, the Duke of Granada, Lord Mendoza. What do they have over here? Beaten up army, one stack, a lot of peasantry. Uh, if we bring this down to low, how unhappy, uh, quite unhappy. Okay, we'll send some more units down there just to help out. And then we'll take our forces into Morocco. Mostly because then we're only defending the one front as we move into Algeria, then Tunisia onwards towards Egypt. Uh, what's our money situation? Over a thousand! That's where we'd like it to be, although much prefer in the three Ks, but hey-ho. End there. Pope has asked us to chastise them mightily. Fair enough. Prince Alfonso, little improvement there. What have they got? Still just rubbishy units. Okay, let's grab both of these guys, move them in. Very high holding, low and holding, 
normal in holding. Marvelous. Uh, we will need at least one priest over there. God, 99%. Wow. What's that? 72, 21, 1% Catholic. Not great. Uh, how many of these can we move out? Move out one. Yes, we can. Move out the rest. Yes, we can. Excellent. And we still have... Maybe, maybe just one of them. Can we move one out? Can we move two out? Yeah, we can. Excellent. Let's combine these guys up, because might as well. That's a nice little invasionary force, actually, into Morocco. Can't quite. Portugal always has trouble getting happy. Never quite know why. With that one percent heretic just holding them back. I'll make sure everywhere is constructing stuff we want to construct. Pretty much. Okay. Get ready for the Battle of Morocco. Moving on. <laughs> Insufficient funds. Wow. 17. Flipping act. So they cannot win. They ran away. <laughs> Somehow managed to convince their commoners that they are content. Love it. Okay, plus one influence to Byzantines. Cool for them. Oh my days, they have like nothing. Let's, uh, let's siege. Might as well. No point in losing troops to that. We don't have the equipment, but we can just auto-resolve, get a win. Okay, they're moving down a bit. They're moving up a bit. Marry him. Why not? Just keep the heirs coming. Don't really care where they come from. Also keeps them happy, you know, marrying into the royal family and all. Yeah, everywhere's building. The siege has been set. We're still earning. Ooh, wrong one. A thousand odd a turn. Ooh, they have some rebels to deal with. I'd be taking Algeria off rebels rather than main troops. Don't mind if we do. What's that? Royal Court was our dodgy one. Fair enough. We'll end there. A castle assault against 60 men. Yeah, I think save that. Auto resolve. Just use the battles to save rather than exiting out all the time. Ransom the troops. Yeah, insufficient funds, that's fine. We are going to be like that for a little bit. Probably should do something to sort that out, actually. Looking for dread and piety. Need both. That's pretty good. Fortunately, it's a feudal sergeant rather than peasantry or such, but I don't really mind leaving them behind. Particularly when... You know, it's early game. Early game units, they're really good. Mid game, they're pretty good. But, they're not amazing. And more to the point, we're going to be going to be using them to defend, no doubt, at some point. So it's nice to have a few good troops kicking around. Amazing the English still own this. Normally the French have come in by now. What is it? Yeah, 11.13. Okay, what are they on? 76. 9%. Yay! Slow improvement. What can we build? Build us some money-making places. Need 
need the thuns right now. Uh, do they have anything to trade? Yeah, they have res trade resources. It doesn't give you much. I think it gives you like five or so florins if you have a trade resource and a port, but it's worth chucking them in. You know, five florins here and there does eventually add up. Plus, we're going to need ports to move our troops all the way down to Egypt. Because it now is really when it's going to come in handy. Once our economy is a bit better, we can then use the ships, because we will need ships in each of these uh, water regions? I'm not too sure what you call them. Seas, I guess? Or sections of seas? I don't know. Whatever. You need the ships there in order to actually travel across them. Make sure everything's building up. We're going to need that. <laughs> yes, we all want gold mines. We want gold mines maxed out. Uh, pop that up to high. They're on normal. Oh, they can go high. Excellent. That'll do. Probably going to run out of money again. Or spend a long time thinking. Fair enough. Pope still wants support against the Italians. Oh, poor Italians. Insufficient funds, vice and virtues. Yeah, bad virtues. Bad, bad, bad times. They are so rubbish. Oh my god. Um, we have enough troops. It'll be alright. Let's chuck two of them in there. Can we get three? Oh, we can. Marvellous. Still loyal. Just have to leave these chappers behind. Oh, no we won't. We have new ones coming in. Excellent. Uh, we will need priests to move around, though. Might even be worth just picking up a few more. Bishops. Ooh, excellent. We get a few. I think they're just balusters, yeah. Not catapult quality yet, but every little helps. I can start building our forces against Europe as well soon. I think three armies should be enough. Probably stop against Egypt. They usually have quite strong forces. We shall see. Uh, just making sure everything's building. It looks like everything is. Just keep my eye down here. A lot of economic buildings, which is great. We're at 1.5. Alright, it's in there. They flee from Algeria. I don't get why the AI sends them in just to run away. Yeah, insufficient funds. That might be plaguing us for a while yet. I think it's probably from things like this. These are quite expensive. Yeah, it's going to cost 1800 alone. Was that final level then? I, remember, I think there's like three levels for each of the mines, or is it two levels for each of the mines? But they do get quite pricey. Alright, we'll move one across. That's okay. Try and keep... Keep the good units with us, and we'll just leave behind some of these... I was going to say rubbish ones, but actually Spearmen still ain't too bad at this point. Oh, they're pretty good. That's our first contender. Uh, five and two decent acumen yeah we'll go with them who was it that's five and three even better Ooh, get you there we are 
Hello, Duke of Algeria. These armies then move up. Oh, we could totally smash them. But how unhappy are people going to be? Not that unhappy. We are bleeding troops like no tomorrow, though. I might make a, a quick save here. Okay, I think actually just going to have to call it there for today. Made a good start, though. We own the entirety of Spain moving down through Morocco. And our aim really for next time is going to be to finish off the Almohad. Typically, that stops right at Egypt, where the Egyptian army should be. Uh, usually there's not much that happens in the southern areas of the map early on. And basically, once we have there, it's going to be a matter of comparing the enemy. We'll either be moving up via, hopefully not England... Uh, but possibly England, who knows, we'll see. Into Europe, taking out the Aragonese as we go, who ooh, are starting to get some better troops. There we have their uh, keep, I believe. I always forget. Yes, keep. And France. France is typically a tricky one, but it kind of depends who ends up winning Germany, France, or England. It's always a nice war up there that if we join, hopefully the Pope won't be too annoyed. We'll wait and see. Either way, that will do for now. All set for next time. All right, guys, catch you in a bit.